What do you think of my mats? Aren't they lovely? They've even got a... <clears throat> Let's move this a minute. I bought two. Um, so I could cover most of the table. And they've got the lilac on the other side. And actually, I quite like the lilac. Actually, I wonder if that would look quite nice. Like half and half. Hmm. Looks all right, doesn't it? Different. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it as the pink. I quite like the pink. There we go. These are nice mats. They are about £32 on Amazon. If you type in pink um, cutting mats, a, these are a one size, okay? Um, then it should come up. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Uh, today, we are going to be stitching out some bibs. Uh, uh, so we're going to see how it all pans out. Hopefully it will all go pretty well. Um, yeah, so if you're new here, uh, my name is Kim. I am an, well, I'm an artist and an, I, I'm not an embroiderer. I've only just really started to embroider. Um, I'm new to embroidery, but about 10 months in, something like that. Um, and I just try to make videos and let you learn along with me. Um, and I try to make it a little bit more, rather than a, a lesson, it's more of a um, Kim tutorial, which is actually not really a tutorial. It's, uh, it's well, it's whatever you want it to be, okay? So we'll leave that there. Um, yeah, so, uh, do you like my little background? Do you like that? That's quite nice, isn't it? Um, catnip. I mentioned her before in my videos she loves all this stuff and she has that playing in her catnip cafe uh, in the background when she's working it's it's quite a nice thing to have on in the background it's um quite therapeutic and it has actually got sound to it it's a 30 minute video on youtube um and you can just let it play in the background i'll put the sound up a minute and it just plays all these lovely relaxing sounds although you can't really hear them when you've got the embroidery machine going but it's quite nice to listen to and relax um is, do you, I, li I like that i find it quite um therapeutic if that's the right word wind and rain it's actually windy and rainy outside today it's uh and I've got the window open a little bit because it's, it's quite hot in here. I have the heating turned up, but I love all this. Isn't it nice? I like it. Um, it's 30 minutes of relaxing visuals from Studio Ghibli. I think that's how you spell it. HBO Max. Uh, yeah, and I like it. I've got some new fabrics in as well. Uh, I don't know whether to show you those now. I could do actually. I will get the camera and turn it around and show you just before we start okay fabrics uh they're not all new this one here is new um and that's from the little johnny range it's quite nice this is a jersey cotton so it's got some stretch to it so that'll be ideal for making uh, onesies and stuff or anything really um you've seen that well some of you have seen that we've got some of this lovely um glittery fabric again now we've got it in the orange oranges and pinks and blues and we've got it in this like pastely pinks and blues so you can see the difference in the color uh we've got this here this metallic square stuff this is a jersey foil and we've got this one here i do quite like this um it's quite nice and that's another metallic jersey foil and we have some cotton polka dot and i love the, the pink and the pink i don't know what it is i really like that those two colours together. Then we've got this stuff here, which is a polyester, but it's very, very nice. Um, and what else have we got new? Uh, let me think. We've got some more of this fabric and the Galaxy. And I think, is that it? And we've got some more of the red scale fabric in now. Um, still got some of the uh, pink and the silver left. All right, we've 
obviously you've seen this stuff this is the fleece and the fluffy blanket stuff um and there we go so feel free to check that out that's in my etsy shop the link will be down below for that uh right now i finished that painting the other day some of you want to see some more of my art so there we go there's one piece there which is all finished that's waiting to be framed now which i've got the frame for but i'm just waiting for uh it to cure fully so that i can frame it so that's there waiting um i purchased this thing here uh from aldi okay i did that along with my overlocker which i've never used i put purchased an overlocker from aldi i did an unboxing i think it may be in this video i'll see how i get on with that okay this is the sewing machine i use um it's a singer patchwork now it's got a lot of these stitches here i have not used it for two hits i have not used it to its full potential yet but one day maybe i also purchased some of these here okay which most of you will know what they are the you know the uh, prong snaps snap fasteners okay there's some metal ones there in different colors and we have some plastic ones okay with the tools um <clears throat> i also purchased one of these packs of tools here which is called a prim if i remember right there. Uh, what's it called it's a turning set anyway um yeah prim and there's three different sizes in there and that's coming handy um and along with this here this um edging you can turn with that and you can also push your edges in when you turn things inside out that's lovely and i really like the color of that um i also purchased a new rotary cutter and i've also got some um pinking blades to go with that uh what else oh this ruler here this quilting ruler which is ideal for cutting and measuring i already had that little one there and over here we have the overlocker okay now this here i purchased from aldi which is a cheap shop in the uk and i, I think they are German, a German shop. I'm not sure. £129 that cost, which I think is pretty good for an overlocker, and it is heavy. Um, it's there you go. Speed sewing with two needles. It's got four threads that come with it, and it's already threaded. Um, might put a, and I might put a bit of video in with this video. Okay. There's another one of my paintings yet to be finished um you've probably seen that one there that's finished and waiting to be sold so that's that as most of you already know that watch this channel there is my machine okay it's a brother pro x pr 1050x and i believe now the models are um, you can buy these second hand. I'm not sure if you can buy them brand new. <clears throat> Every time I look them up, it's called a PR1055X 105 now. Okay, which is basically the same, but it has a couple of added features from what I can remember, from what I've read. Oh, we have all this fabric here as well. Um, we've got this Computer 4 fabric, which is another like metallic Jersey 4 fabric. Okay, we have it in the uh, pink uh like a blacky gold it does it's it, it says black gold but it looks like bronze sorry and we have it in a blue okay there we go it's quite nice so there we go can you hear that that's what we have to put up with day in and day out birds like parrot things and they were in the garden i think they're still in the garden but it's not very nice out there um and when they're in the house next door they make a racket and you can hear it right through the walls i don't know how anyone can sit there and watch a tv program with that going on that would absolutely do my flipping head in it does my head in already and i haven't got to live with it but then We'll say no more about that. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm moaning again. I'm moaning, as usual. 
I'm gonna have a sip of my coffee. Coffee to calm me down. It needs heating up actually because it's gone cold. It's all right, it's not bad. Not bad. In my famous cup, think happy thoughts. <clears throat> That's me every single day, every day, not. Right, I'm gonna get on and do some work and show you guys something that's of interest. Okay, so bye and I'll see you in a minute. Bye bye, bye bye, bye. Yay, I'm going mad. Yay, I'm going, sorry, I am, I'm literally going mad. Can you hear that? It's either shut the window and boil my off or open it and listen to that. Do my flipping head in. I bought these. Um, now, I'm not gonna, well, I might use these today, but I'm gonna do an in the hoop bib today, okay, with a uh, design from Etsy. Now, these are from uh, Asda in the UK. Uh, they are, let's say, they are in packs of five. They're £3.50 each. Well, those ones were 3 50 and those ones were 3 25 um, I don't know why, what does it matter, you know? Why put 25 pence on it? What? Because what? These are pastel colours and they're like, what's the difference? Don't, don't, <laughs> doesn't make sense. So there we go. We've got these bibs here, all right? Now, uh, we can, what we can do with these is we can, oh, I'm going to have to shut that flipping window. We are going to put, uh, we could put a little design in there, couldn't we? And sell them as bibs, you know, separate. And that would look quite nice or we could do packs of two or whatever so yeah i thought that would be uh hang on a minute right i've had to shut the window i can't stand that's doing my head in um yeah Right, so anyway, that's those, okay. Now, I am gonna go and get my large hoop. There we go. And I'm gonna put some tear away stabilizer in there. Now then, where did I put my stabilizer? Where are you? Where are you, stabilizer? Where are you? Where is it? Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Let's see. Okay. I'm gonna pop some of this on here. Haven't put my machine on yet. Right. Okay. Okay. Now then. Stabilizers on. Gonna get my little screwdriver. I should always have things ready and prepared. Okay, <laughs> that should be fine. So we have our stabiliser in the hoop, all right? Right, I think I've got to move that. I don't think it's the right... Yeah, I have. <coughs> so, undo screws at the back. Pull slightly until we get to the next notch and tighten the screws. Get those tightened. Okay, and we're going to pop these on here. Okay, now we're going to get our design up on here. Okay, so I'm going to get the bib that I have planned. Um, I'm not going to put a monogram or anything on it today, uh, but feel free to add your own monogram in your design program. Um, and then there we go. That's the one I want there. 
pretty simple okay i'm gonna set that right now that's all ready to stitch out but i want to go into this here and just put some stops in all right so we want to stop in there a stop in there and we'll put a stop in there we don't really need that one but we'll do that okay so thread colors let me just check the thread colors we've got number one two and three now i want to keep all the thread colors the same i am going to use a um fairly light fabric so i'm going to do it all in the white which is my number eight so i'm going to change the thread colors to number eight all right and press okay so it's all ready to go on the hoop okay now then i'm going to go and get my materials this is like a toweling terry toweling it was actually advertised on Amazon as I've typed in terry, terry cloth, but to me it feels a lot softer than terry cloth. Um, it doesn't matter. Let's get our roller. Let's get that. Let's get some of that out of the way, isn't it? Okay. Let's just cut a piece. Now I'll just make sure it's big enough to go in the hoop so we make sure we got enough in the hoop there we go right a piece of that and just go get a piece of this as well this is fabric that i bought from a um a shop uh near to where i live uh I don't sell this. It's nice fabric, mind. Lovely fabric. I'm going to cut a piece of this as well. Okay. So it's just a simple design, really, and you can add your own touches to it in your design program or even on your machine. So we have that, <laughs> and we have. That there, okay. So we have our two pieces. So that's what I'm going to use. Just two pieces. Okay. Let's go back over to the machine. But let's just we're going to put down our uh, placement stitch first. Okay. So problems already as per usual and it's not the bobbin what is a silly machine playing up right doesn't even look like it's Okay, so it's a stop now, ready for me to lie my fabric or lay my fabric down. All right, now it's a bit of a job to get in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the machine. All right, I'm going to press this button here. All right, and then I'm going to press this one here, which is basically bringing it out or bringing it in. And it's I'm going to press OK, and then it's going to bring this forward. Okay, so that's that. Right, now we're going to lie our fabric down on there uh, right what we want to do is it's got to be it's going to be turned inside out so we want uh, we want the right we want right sides facing okay now I'm wondering whether I should give this an iron first it's not too bad actually now I'm going to pop this piece on I'm going to try and make sure there's no creases in it. I don't like the way that's sitting there. Right, I'm going to just give it a quick press. 
Right, I've given it a quick press and now I'm going to lay this down. Okay, I want to make sure that the birds, if you've got a pattern, okay, make sure it's the right way up. Okay, so the bib's basically, the bib is like that. Okay, so we want the pattern to be lying the correct way. So when the bib's on, it's the right way around, instead of upside down. So we have that like that. Now we're going to bring that hoop back in. And to do that, we press this one again. All right. It's going to tell us to move our hands away. Press OK. Back to the embroidery position. All right. So now we're going to go on to the next level. We're going to go back out of that. And we're going to go to the next one. So lock and unlock. I don't need them. I'm going to take this out of the hoop. All right. <laughs> and we are going to tear off the paper stabilizer gently. This is why it's easier to use paper uh, tear away, okay, when you're doing these designs because you don't want to have to try and cut away. Okay. There we go. Right, now we're going to get our big scissors and we are going to cut. gonna get our I've got a turning tool here Different one. I think we'll use this one and get that ready and we're gonna turn this inside out okay All right way sorry we're gonna turn it the right way Okay, so that's the uh, pressed finish. Okay, now I'm going to go around this with my sewing machine. All right, and then I'm going to put some snappers on. Okay, so let's get the sewing machine out. Okay, right, let's pop this on. The foot pedal. It's not a lot of room here. Never mind. Okay, so we're going to, you can choose to hand sew that bit up if you like to and leave it like that. But I'm gonna hand. I'm going to machine sew it all the way around, and um, because that's the finish I would like. Okay, so start as close to the edge as you can. You know, just and then work your way around. Just take your time.
Okay, so there we have one bib. All right, now we're going to put some of these snappers in. So let's have a look. I'm going to use some of the plastic ones. I've got a piece of each, okay, or two pieces of these here with the spiky bits on, okay? And then we've got a male and female part, all right? Basically, that's going to clip into that, all right? Now, I'm going to get my bib, okay? I'm going to pierce two holes. Uh, put my bib together like that, then I can see basically that it's exact, okay? Right, then I'm going to get the nice looking piece okay the flat piece you don't want the other bits on there okay and then we want either or of these pieces i'm going to put the male part on there all right just snap that in a little bit then get your tool and lie the flat piece on the larger piece there with the male or female part on the other piece and then just Fit together like that okay and that is done so that's that one then we're going to get this one here now i'm going to put it so that it goes round like that i'm going to put that piece on the back there all right then the female piece over there okay uh, over there okay so there we have it one bib um, it's not bad actually. I quite like it. I like the fabric um, and the poppers matched pretty well with that. So there's a pop on the other side and there we go. All right. So you can use Velcro if you want. I've got some Velcro somewhere around, but there we have it. You can make a set of these, sell them on your Etsy shop if you have one or make nice gifts. Um, so there we go. All right. So... I'm gonna go now i hope you enjoyed the video um if you did give it a thumbs up please and hit the um subscribe button on the way out if you're not subscribed that would be fantastic and i will be back again soon with more tutorials uh similar and there's going to be a few tutorials coming up on how to use the 10 needle machine different bits and pieces short videos all right so look out for those um and I will get around to using the overlocking sewing machine as well. Uh, so, yeah, I wonder if there's anything else I could pile on to myself. You know, I haven't got a lot to do. Not really. No. Um, what, what I did, did I come up with? Oh, yeah, that was it. I thought to myself, hmm, I could try maybe doing a little bit of gaming online as well. And my husband like looked at me and went, are you serious? You know, it's not like you haven't got enough to do. And I just don't know why I keep doing it to myself. I keep piling more and more things on myself, like the overlocking machine. I've got to learn how to use that now. Um, <laughs> why do I do it? What's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Um, yeah, so I am going to go and I will see you again soon. Check out the bib design and if you want to make one, make one okay check out the bib design uh i will leave the shop link down below and you can search through some of the bibs she has in her shop all right uh yeah so, so there's different ones there's ones with collars on there's ones with um designs on there's uh frilly ones there's um there's a few check them out okay i'm gonna go now so Feel free to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you again soon with more tutorials. Bye for now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye.